Welcome to Pizza Funny Weekly News Report. Here are the headlines. The European Union bans three pesticides. Canada Post new bee stamp, our special guest. Community garden vandalism. Entertainment movie quiz. Our picture of the week. And finally, our upcoming events. Good morning, I'm Mel V. And I'm Yara J. We start in Europe, where the European Union has voted on April 27th, 2018 to ban three new nicotinoid pesticides. <laughs> Their names are difficult for me to say, but here they are. A petition also on this event gained about 5 million signatures. Not everyone was happy about the decision, however, especially the big corporations. But I mean, come on, it's amazing that Europe banned three pesticides. Our bees will now be safe. And I hope other countries do the same. To understand that using pesticides is bad and that you're harming beneficial insects. And I'm not just talking about honeybees. Which leads us to our next good news. Thank you, Yara. And yes, awesome news. On May the 1st, Canada Post launched a new set of post stamps under the title Be More Aware About Canada's Threatened Bee Population featuring a very eye-catching illustration about two of our native bees that have been assessed and endangered by the Department of Endangered Wildlife in Canada and they are the Rusty Patched Bumblebee and the Metallic Green Bee these stamps are very cool and heads up people because only 7,000 of these special envelopes have been printed and 140,000 of these booklets were made. And of course, I already got mine. Those are dads. I know, but he loves to share. And because this is such great news, here is our big surprise. We are in direct communication with Mr. Dave Murray, who is the artist and illustrator of these stamps. Hello, Mr. Murray. This is Malvi and Yara. Hi, Malvi and Yara. It is a great honor for us to have you in our channel today. Do you want us to call you Mr. Murray or Dave? Uh, Dave works fine for me. I prefer to call you Dave. We understand, Dave, that your time is very valuable and that you're a very busy person. But we have some little questions for you. Yeah, that sounds great. Ask away. Okay, Dave. First of all, congratulations on your artwork. My dad and I collect post stamps, so this is great for us. My first question. to hear. No, sorry, go ahead. My first question is. What inspired you to illustrate these two native bee stamps? Well, uh, Canada Post contacted me and uh, asked if I wanted to participate in a pitch uh, for the bee stamps. Um, so that essentially involves myself creating artwork to go into almost like a competition um, for the stamps. Um, luckily, I have always really liked insects and have been interested in bees. Um, so the inspiration kind of came very easy to me to draw the bees. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. I got the second question, Dave. This is Yara. Mm -hmm. What was your reaction when you found out your artwork was going to be in the National Post stamp? Um, I couldn't believe it at first. Um, like, I, as an illustrator, uh, you always kind of dream of having your work on something like a postage stamp. Um, like it, it's a national honor to to kind of have your work featured there. Uh, so I couldn't believe it then, and I'm still almost in a state of disbelief now about it. Um, but it's really cool to see them in print. Actually, Canada Post sent me uh, my sample stamps that I got in the mail yesterday. Um, so being able to see them and like to hold them in eventually use them now is going to be really special for me. Yes, that must have been really exciting. 
Yeah, it really was. Wow, Dave, that is amazing. Malvi again. And I got my last and the third question. Mm -hmm. What message did you want to transmit through your artwork? Well, I think um, the message of the stamps is, is pretty important. Um, they're meant to highlight some of Canada's threatened bee populations. Um, as we know, bee populations have been going down throughout the years, and that is concerning, um, really, for everyone worldwide. Um, so it was nice to be able to you know, use my talents to bring a bit of attention to that. Um, I think the most shocking fact that I learned through the whole thing was that the um, the bombus bee, the uh, the more bumblebee and rusty patched bumblebee, um, is an endangered bee. It has only been found in a certain small provincial park in southern Ontario uh, since 2002. So that that was a big a big shock for me. Uh, so it's nice to be able to kind of bring attention to that. Yeah, that is awesome. And one of the bees that you drew, I think it was the metallic green bee. It was it was amazing to see that bees endangered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've, I've got a funny history with that bee. Um, my parents would always have colonies of the metallic green bee in their front yard. Uh, so it, it's not great to laugh at now when I used to, you know, cut the cut the lawn, um, and occasionally they would come and try to attack me and sting me. Oh. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's nice now to kind of think back and recognize the importance of those bees, and uh, they're really fascinating. They're they're really interesting to look at too. Yes. Uh, because they're so they're so unlike any other bee. Yes, they're beautiful, especially the color. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Thank you sure. so much for your time and answering the questions so far. Um, I got the last question for you. This is Yara again. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure you're aware of the global situation that not only honeybees are going through, but also other pollinators. So what I'm trying to ask here is, what do you think is the influence the stamps that you drew will bring to the world? Uh, I hope they really bring more attention to the plight of pollinators and bees, uh, especially um, you know, you read about things like colony collapse disorder and, you know, how populations of bees are falling. Um, and I hope people come to realize that bees are so important to, you know, how we live as humans and how, how so many other species live as well, right? Because they, yes. they pollinate plants, they allow fruit, food to grow. Uh, without bees, I think we'd be in real trouble. Also, too, I mean, I hope people realize that bees aren't, scary <laughs> yes. um, I, I feel like you know a lot of people grew up in fear of bees but in reality I mean if you don't bug them they're not gonna bug you and they're gonna go about their business mm -hmm. you know yes. bring us food bring us flowers and just yes. you know just be part of nature and I think that's so important yes I think that is really important too so thank you so much and before we let you go Dave how can all of our audience find more of your artwork <laughs> Uh, well, you can visit my website. It's www.davemurrayillustration.com. Um, I have an Instagram, too, where I post a lot of my work, and that's at Dave underscore underscore Murray. Um, it's been so nice to talk to you guys. Uh, I was really thrilled about this. All right. Yeah, well, thank you so much. Um, we're posting a link of your website now, and we also okay. know now that you're a hockey fan because we've been to your website and saw some of your work too and it's amazing thanks so much yeah I'm, uh, I'm a big hockey fan my team didn't make the playoffs unfortunately mm. but you know I, I play a lot of hockey I watch a lot of hockey so it's it's all just very enjoyable to me yes yeah well thank you so much for the time you spent with us we definitely learned a lot great yeah it was like I said a real pleasure to talk to you guys all right uh, yeah I really, I really like your newscast oh uh, thank you so much and the honor was it's a bit, it's been an honor to talk to you. All right, thanks guys. All right, thank you so much. Have yeah, a good have night. A Saturday. Yeah, you too. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye, bye Dave. Bye. That was awesome. So cool and handsome. Okay then. Okay, let's get serious now because in our next report. It's a little bit embarrassing and sad since it has been in our local news. 
Neighbors and members of a community garden located at Pandora Park, Eastern Vancouver, were sadly surprised to discover that their brand new beehive was stolen a week or so ago. It's upsetting and people can't believe it, said Maguire Kaminsky, who is a beekeeper volunteer in the community garden to the local CBC News, mentioning also that it's quite rare to have a beehive disappear in a city. So, what happened is that these good people set up a nucleus colony and in less than 24 hours, it was gone. Come on guys, one nuke and you stole from a community garden. Which, at the point, you, myself, all these people that had or have bees know that this person with some knowledge on bees probably stole them at night time. Well, we wish the best to those people and we sent Kaminsky an email telling her that we are more than willing to support them with some equipment if they need it because we're in the same province. So Kaminsky, if you're watching this, please let us know and we will be happy to help you. And all the best for you and the neighbors in that community garden. All right, so now for our entertainment section. We have two items. Last week we asked, what scene is this movie from? The answer is Blade Runner 2049. Now, for this week's clip... Is ...what's so wonderful is that every one of these flowers has a specific relationship with the insect that pollinates it. There's a certain orchid that looks exactly like a certain insect, so the insect is drawn to this flower. It's double, it's soulmate, and wants nothing more than to make love to it. After the insect flies off, spots another soulmate flower and makes love to it, thus pollinating it. And neither the flower nor the insect will ever understand the significance of their lovemaking. I mean, how could they know that because of their little dance, the world lives? But it does, by simply doing what they're designed to do, something large and magnificent happens. In this sense, they show us how to live, how the only barometer you have is your heart. When you spot your flower, you can't let anything get in your way. Leave a comment if you know from what movie this scene is from. Now, our picture of the week. This time it comes from Pineberg, Germany, where we can see a group of students and their mentors build homes for wild bees. Thank you, BeeSafe.co, for this amazing and cool picture. If you want to follow them, here is their Instagram. And finally, our upcoming events. We have two of them. The first one, Slovenia will celebrate a full weekend on Navi's event, starting on the 18th of May with World Beekeeping Conference about global challenges in beekeeping. It will also include an unveiling memorial honoring the Cunolian honeybee. Now let's remember that Slovenia is well known as the home of the Carnolian honeybee. They will also host an international ministerial conference on the role of bees and other pollinators on the 19th. And we'll finish on the 20th with the first celebration of World Bee Day. I wish I could be there. The second event, the 2018 European Week of Bees and Pollination from the 26th to the 28th of June, at the European Parliament in Belgium. This meeting focuses on how is the agriculture community mobilized to protect bees. If you want any more information on either of these events, links are below in the description section. This concludes our weekly news report. Hit a thumbs up if you like this video, share it with your friends and family to keep them updated, Leave a comment if you have any questions and finally subscribe to our channel by hitting that big red button and clicking on the bell and YouTube will let you know every time we share a new video. My name is Yara and my name is Melby and this is These Are Funny. See you later.